What if everything you know about music is slightly off? What if the songs you love, the beats that move you, are tuned just wrong enough to shift your body and mind out of balance? Hello, explorers. Today we are diving into the mysterious world of sound frequencies and asking a simple question with massive implications. Why is music tuned to 440 hertz, and should it be? Let's start with 432 hertz. Supporters call it the natural frequency of the universe. They claim it resonates with the Earth's energy, matches the vibration of water, and aligns with ancient instruments. People who listen to 432 hertz music often report feeling calmer, more focused, and emotionally connected. Now compare that to 440 hertz, the tuning standard used in nearly all modern music. In 1955, it was adopted internationally. But why the switch? Some theorists believe it was a political or psychological manipulation meant to disrupt natural resonance and create tension in the human body and mind. Science has mixed answers. Some studies show different frequencies can affect heart rate, brainwave activity, and emotional states. Others argue that any differences are too subtle to matter. But even subtle effects, over time, might shape how we feel without us even knowing it. And what about musicians? Some artists have retuned their music to 432 hertz, claiming their audiences feel the difference. Others remain skeptical, sticking with what the industry has used for decades. Still, the debate rages on, especially online, where listeners compare side-by-side -side tracks and swear they can hear the shift in mood and energy. Music, after all, is not just entertainment. It's vibration, it's physics, it's emotion. Every note we hear carries more than melody. It carries influence. Could the choice of tuning frequency have long-term effects on our minds or even our collective consciousness? Could it subtly guide emotion, stress, or even behavior across entire generations? And let's not forget alternative practices like sound baths, binaural beats, and frequency healing, which already operate on the belief that different vibrations impact the human body and spirit. Could 432 hertz be the missing key to deeper, more harmonious living? At the heart of this conversation is something bigger. Can sound heal us? Can it harm us? From meditation tracks to military sound weapons, we already know sound is powerful. So maybe tuning matters more than we think. So, what's the truth? Is 432 hertz truly better? Or is this just another audio myth? Should we care how our music is tuned? Or should we just listen to what moves us? Let us know in the comments. Have you ever tried listening to the same song in both frequencies? Could you feel the difference? Like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more explorations into sound, science, and mystery. Let's keep exploring together.